Hi. There's much debate about whether to shoot in RAW or JPEG. Some photographers insist they'll only ever shoot in one format or the other, but the reality is there are different situations that best suit one of the two. But before we get into how to choose a setting, let's take a look at the differences between RAW and JPEG. A JPEG is a standardized file type readable by just about any kind of software, whereas RAW is a proprietary format specific to the manufacturer of the camera. This requires specific software to view and edit. JPEGs are compressed. Digital compression is a means of making files smaller by removing redundancies, much like zip files if you're familiar with those. But some loss of quality is the downside. In a JPEG, a 10 megapixel camera will produce approximately a 2 megabyte file. RAW files are uncompressed, so a 10 megapixel sensor will produce approximately a 10 megabyte file. There's no loss of data from the sensor. JPEGs have a bit depth of 8 bits per color. Bit depth refers to a digital means of quantifying colors and shades. A higher bit depth allows for a wider range of colors and shades, but increases file size, and anything over 8 bits can't be saved as a JPEG. So JPEGs have 8 bits per color, whereas RAW files are at least 12 bits per color, allowing for a much wider range of color and shades. JPEGs are processed by the camera. The image will have sharpening, color information, contrast, etc. applied to the image in the camera. RAW files are unprocessed by the camera and require processing in photo editing software. JPEGs will lose quality each time the file is saved. A RAW file is an unalterable file. Changes made in RAW editing software are saved in a separate file that's applied to the image each time it's opened. JPEGs are printable directly from your camera. RAW files require special editing software and therefore they're not printable from your camera. JPEGs are immediately shareable, whereas RAW files are not universally readable, so they're not necessarily shareable right away. JPEGs have a lower dynamic range. That's the ability to capture bright and dark areas, whereas RAW files have a much higher dynamic range. While shooting JPEG is fine most of the time, there are some situations where one or the other is preferable. A RAW file contains much more data than a JPEG, so you'll have a lot more control in photo editing. So if, for example, a photo has been over or underexposed, you'll have a lot more information in those problem areas and allow for better recovery in the over or underexposed areas. So here's some common situations and the preferred setting. Live music performances are situations where lighting conditions change rapidly, make proper exposure difficult. Shoot RAW in these situations to allow for better correction in post-production. In photos that have areas of extreme bright and dark, like landscapes with a very bright sky and a dark foreground, shoot in RAW. In this case, the greater control in photo editing will allow for better results with the final image. Any kind of fine art photography or anything that may be printed at a large size is best shot in RAW. A larger file size and greater editing capabilities will yield much better results. For shooting sports or any scenes with fast action, use JPEG. The smaller size of the JPEG files will place less demand on the camera's processor, allowing the camera to shoot at or close to its maximum frame rate. This will increase the odds of getting the best shot with rapidly changing subject matter. Shooting at high frame rates can also fill up a memory card pretty quickly when using RAW files. When shooting everyday snapshots that won't require photo editing or that you may want to share immediately, use JPEG. This just makes the whole process easier, eliminating a need to process and convert files after. The smaller files will also allow many more shots per memory card. If memory space is an issue, shoot in JPEG. Large RAW files will fill up a small card pretty quickly. Also, if you're shooting for the web, you generally don't need the high quality that you might need for, say, prints. So that's another good situation for JPEG. Remember, though, if you're going to shoot in RAW, you will require the specific software for your camera to open and edit those RAW images.